हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द कैंसर ऑफ हाइपोफारिंग्स सो इन द कैंसर ऑफ हाइपोफारिंग्स फर्स्ट इट इज कॉस्ड बाय कार्सिनोमा पाइरीफॉर्म साइनस और इट इट हैज थ्री पार्ट्स कार्सिनोमा पाइरीफॉर्म साइनस कार्सिनोमा पोस्ट क्रिकॉइड रीजियन एंड कार्सिनोमा पोस्टीरियर फारेंशियल वॉल Carcinoma pyriform sinus. If you see, it is most common of all hypopharyngeal carcinomas. Males more than for it is seen in males more than forty years, whereas carcinoma post cricoid region is the second most common, and it is seen in females more females most commonly, and it is also seen most commonly in thirty to twenty to thirty years. Then we have car carcinoma posterior pharyngeal wall. in carcinoma posterior phalangeal wall this is actually less common seen in 10% of individuals this carcinoma posterior pharyngeal wall is seen in males more than 40 years of age now the clinical features include this carcinoma pyriform sinus is symptomless and it is diagnosed late here there is pricking or sticking sensation occurs in the throat there is pricking or sticking sensation occurs in the throat then we have carcinoma post cricoid region which is due to progressive dysphagia then carcinoma posterior pharyngeal wall causes clinical features like dysphagia hemoptysis and enlarged lymph nodes in carcinoma pyriform sinus it shows enlarged lymph nodes then lymphatic spread carcinoma hypopharynx uh, spreads to upper deep cervical lymph nodes carcinoma post cricoid spreads to paratracheal lymph nodes bilaterally whereas carcinoma posterior pharyngeal wall spreads to retropharyngeal lymph nodes so if you see the treatment of choice carcinoma pyriform uh, sinus shows early growth and radiotherapy carcinoma post cricoid region shows poor prognosis with both surgery and radiotherapy then carcinoma in the posterior pharyngeal wall if there is early growth it causes radiotherapy later it causes it, it shows surgery now if you see the next important thing the most common type of carcinoma hypopharynx is squamous cell carcinoma is the most common type of carcinoma hypopharynx so if you see the etiology alcohol tobacco vitamin a deficiency iron deficiency or plummer vinson syndrome this iron deficiency or plummer plummer vinson syndrome is actually associated most importantly with post cricoid carcinoma then we also have low cholesterol levels so all these are the etiological features of carcinoma hypopharynx next in carcinoma pyriform fossa referred ear pain is seen because of cranial nerve 10th 10th cranial nerve involvement has there can be superior laryngeal nerve in if there is superior laryngeal nerve involvement then this can cause hoarseness of voice then laryngeal crepitus may also be present in normal cases but this laryngeal crepitus which is absent in patients with post cricoid malignancy has the larynx becomes fixed normally this laryngeal crepitus is present in normal patients but this is absent in patients with post cricoid malignancy has larynx becomes fixed so this is about carcinoma hypopharynx thank you for watching